Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby and I'm the owner of a couple of tumblers. And today we're gonna to be doing a watercolor ink marble tumbler. Try to say that 10 times fast. So before we get started, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get to it. For today's tutorial, you're going to need a tumbler that is spray painted white. I use Rust-Oleum spray paint. You're also going to need 91% rubbing alcohol, alcohol ink, and for this tumbler, I'm going to be using the color Gumball by Tim Holtz. And lastly, you're going to need a small paintbrush. I'm going to pour a small amount of rubbing alcohol in a medicine cup and shake up my alcohol ink and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is drop a small dot of ink onto the tumbler. You really don't need much ink for this design since you'll be watering it down with rubbing alcohol. Next, I'm going to dip my brush into the rubbing alcohol and dab off any excess onto a paper towel and spread the ink around the tumbler. I like to create lines when spreading the ink as it gives me a guide of where my marble veins will be. I constantly dip my brush into the rubbing alcohol to make it easier to move the ink around. I use a choppy motion with my paintbrush to make sure my ink isn't streaking on the tumbler, so chop, 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 chop. I, I'm also going to try to get this pink a little bit more faded as I like that soft color with the dark veins. If your ink gets a little runny, that's okay. Just chase the color with your paintbrush and spread it around. You will most likely cover that spot anyways with more ink. Once you get the shade color that you like, drop another dot of alcohol ink and repeat the process. You want to cover your entire tumbler with color. If it starts to look a little crazy, don't fret, we can come back and fix it. Also, when you are spreading your ink around, try to move your ink in one direction, so that way the ink will gather up and create a vein. Now that my entire tumbler is covered, I'm going to go in and fix any spots that I think are too dark or have too many lines. This part is completely up to you, so have fun with it. And when you have your look all done, you can also add some flakes to it. I have rose gold flakes that I'm going to be adding to this tumbler. I think adding flakes to it will give it a little bit more dimension and look a little more classy. That's pretty much all I have for you. A quick watercolor ink marble tutorial. I still can't say that fast enough. I get tongue-tied, but this design can be done using multiple colors. My first one, I used blues and purples, and it came out super pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or have something that you want to see. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys!